here and welcome back to more Arsenal career mode. I have already recorded this, but the uh, sound wasn't working, which is uh, very annoying, but I think it's working now. So, uh, yeah, let's go on with the video. Um, as you know, it's a January transfer window, and still thinking of who to buy. People have been saying Suarez, Aguero, and Skirtle and Agra at the back, and... Um, Sterling but I still don't know who to buy so anyway against Huddersfield we got off to a great start as you can see here getting a shot away but their goalkeeper saves it it's very not good <laughs> but Pogba boom what a goal that is for a centre defence midfield for a centre defence midfield that is a great goal great goal by Paul Pogba there he's a great player to be fair I mean he can really get his shots away fantastic player but um yeah the Huddersfield do get a break here I mean we do go 1-0 up obviously 1-0 up Huddersfield get a break whip, whipping it across that is a good save from Chesney with his foot like doing the splits to save that and we go on the counter attack but we're pulled back because Kieran Gibbs picks up an injury and he has a sprained ankle and that could put him out for about three weeks so it's not very good I do replace him with Marlon who wants to leave so I shouldn't have really played him because he won't play his best but still they get a penalty for that I don't think that should have been a penalty I really don't think that should have been a penalty but Leicester takes it I don't think I've ever heard of Leicester and that is a good penalty to be fair right under the crossbar that I, I don't think I would have got to that if I died the right way anyway so yeah that was the equaliser that means it's one all against Huddersfield so we go one one all against Huddersfield and we're going to half time one all so I wasn't that impressed with the uh, lads in the first half because I feel we should be like 5 0 up against Huddersfield because they are the League 2, start, League 1, League 2. But yeah. So yeah, um, in the second half we get on this great break here. What a run that is. Great pass to Podolski. And Podolski, once again, keeping his shot low and put buries it straight into the bottom corner. Great goal. Fantastic goal from Podolski. I love the way he keeps them low and it makes it really hard for the goalkeeper to get down to them. It's just the same as keeping it high and putting it in the top corner, but it's good low as well. Um, I do make some subs, as always. Always make some subs. Change the squad around a bit, you know. Um, I bring on Ox, the Ox, Oxley Chamberlain. Because, um, as you know, he's got 13 goals this season. Not many, but still quite a bit. And at full time, we do win 3 1. I forgot to put in the other Podolski goal, but it was a good goal, I must admit. Um, but yeah, that was a good win for the team. We are through to the next round of the FA Cup, I think. Because that was, I think that was the third round, because the Premier League side's going third round, I think. Is it? Am I right? Or fourth round but um yeah as you can see Kieran Gibbs is out for quite a bit quite a while with an injury because in that match he uh, picked up a sprained ankle and we only get one day's rest between that Huddersfield match and this big Capital One Cup game Man U versus Arsenal in the semi-finals of the Capital One Cup so this is a very big game because if we win both legs then we go through to the final which will be recorded live, I think. But Santa Cazorla says he wants to play, so I do put him in. Which was a good decision in the end, because he scores a cracking goal. I just sport it, but... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, I spoiled it. We can still watch it. Because, uh, yeah. So, let's see how we get pitch up against Man U. And as you can see, I forgot to take Gibbs out. That's why it says, 
uh, your team are eligible to play as one of your players has an injury or suspension. We'll have to take Gibbs out, obviously, because he's injured. Um, I think he's out for three weeks, is it? Three weeks, something like that. But yeah, we'll finally finish shorting the squad out and on with the match. Let's see, I just picked the, uh, yeah. Um, he got off to a great start. Trevino using his pace. Couldn't quite finish it and was straight into David De Gea's body. Um, here, got another chance. Reme using his pace. And, uh, once again saved by De Gea and we try to retrieve the rebound but it's put out for a corner. Corner's put a bit too far and it goes out wide. Santic has all picked it up. There's a nice, nice little, uh, uh, leg swing there. <laughs> And then it's Reme. Reme gets tackled there. That is a pretty dirty foul. I mean, put his legs in. Like, picked Reme up with his knee. Um, I do let Kazora take as always because I like Kazora taking. He's very good at free kicks. And yes, boom! Great goal. What a free kick that was from Sante Kazora. He's just great at them free kicks. Like, he's great at free kicks at like 20, 25 yards like that. So, you can just dip them over the wall like that, dink, straight in. So that puts us one and up against Manchester United, which is very good. And then we come on with another break here. Very fast break, Walcott using his pace. Crosses it in, and Reme, boom, getting another goal. Which is really good. I mean, Reme's been scoring lately quite good so that puts us 2-0 up against Man U so it's looking really good I mean 2-0 up against Manchester United that is good that is very good um do get another break here that is a great ball out on the wing and then to Diaby as a smasher Goes in and bang, what a goal from a, another central defence midfield. Good goal there from Diaby. He doesn't play that much, Diaby. So I'm glad I put him in that game because he got a goal. It's always good to get a goal, no matter where you play on the team. Unless you're a goalkeeper. Goalkeepers don't tend to get goals. But um, Reme, once again, using his pace and buries it into the bottom left corner. Which is a nice goal there. Very good goal. Sorry guys, my mic went off then. Um. Anyway, might you get a good break here, but look how many defenders we had back. I mean, the striker just couldn't get through. So we're going to half time and we are 4-0 up. 4-0 up against Man U. We do get a chance here. Hits my defender, gets the rebound. And Rooney... That almost went to the linesman, it was that far wide. <laughs> almost went to the linesman, it was that far wide. But, um, I decided to change the squad around a bit because we are they were quite worn out. Because we only had one day's rest between the Huddersfield match and this match. Which is annoying when you only get one day's rest. I don't think that happens in real life, you only get like one day's rest. That, I don't think that ha ever happens. But, um, Van Percy here. Passes it into Ashley Young, and that is a clinical finish. That is, I love that finish, even though they scored against us. That was just a lovely finish there. I love that finish. It's just like straight into the bottom corner. To be fair, that was a good finish. But um, we do win that game 4-1, which was a fantastic win for the side. Gives us a lot of confidence going into the second leg at home. That we we won 4-1 away. Old Trafford, which is very tough, but that gives us even more confidence when a uh, man you come over to the Ever Emma Everett's <laughs> Emirates. Um, what's that? Oh, yeah, I think Man City is going to Vermont. Man City is going to Vermont. I mean, I think Vermont is going to Man City. I think that's what that said. 
so yeah Marlin's going finally goodbye for Marlin have fun have fun for Marlin um I do search for some defenders because I think we need to bolster our defense a bit I know we're still strong but I think we need another like left back or right back so I do put decide to put in a bid for Marcello because he's a good player a Brazilian international as well plays for Real Madrid um, I end up offering 9.8 million I think which is quite a bit of a, quite a bit of money for a defender but uh, it might be worth it in the long run if they accept the offer that is they might not even accept it so I think I accidentally removed him from my uh, shortlist there which is uh, I don't think I should have done So yeah, that that I put in a bid for Marcello, and I think I might put in a bid for a striker. I think Aubameyang's quite good. He's got a lot of potential. I think he can reach like the 85, 86 mark from 79 rated. He can go up like six, I think. But um, Romania do offer us a contract, and I decline it. I don't want to go to uh, is that Romania or Colombia? I can't quite can't remember. I think it was Romania. Yeah, Romania. As you can see, big game coming up next. Another big game. Man U and Man City, one after the other. Um. So, yeah, join me next episode to see how I do against Man City. After just playing Man U. So, guys. As you can see, I was just looking and I realised Marcello wasn't on my uh, shortlist. So, I do put him back on. Um. Anyway, that's been the Expert Game HD. Please like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And see you in the next episode. Please comment who I should sell and buy. And yeah, because I'm still deciding who to sell and buy. Yeah. Anyway, peace out, guys. Peace out.